Hey, you know folks is always asking me, what's your favorite way to clean cast iron after you cooked in it? That's one method and that's the one he prefers, but it's not the one we prefer. Stick around, I'll show you how we do it. All right, folks, we just got through eating some breakfast. It was some sausage and some eggs. Who wish you would have been here. Now, you can see there's some stuck on food particles left from that sausage, and this thing has cooled off a little. Got to be hot to clean it this way. So if I can figure out which one of them knobs. Up, oh, ain't that one. There we go. If it's a wood stove, I'd know where it at. I'll let this heat up just a minute. Now, while it's heating, we got to heat our hot water. So... We're going to turn this on to hot, let it run till it gets good and hot. You cannot clean cast iron cold water to hot iron, it'll go crack. But it's always been safe to clean it with hot water, hot iron. It's going to make a steam, let it run for a little bit till you know it's good and hot. I mean hot to where it burns your finger. Now, this has already got hot, I can see a little smoke coming off of it. That water's good and hot. We turn this fire out, it is good and hot. So don't get your face directly over this. We got hot water, we got hot iron. What's gonna happen? Steam. And it comes off oh so easy. Now you can do this with a rubber spatula. You can do it with one of these, the soft side. Just be careful that you don't burn yourself because that iron, remember, is hot. Ain't no food particles on there, but what's left? We gotta do something now. What are we gonna do? Dry it back out, re-season it, just like I've told you every time. Sometimes on this steam method, if something's really stuck on there really bad, gravy burn on there, eggs burnt, that sausage burned a little bit, you may have to do this twice. When you have that stuck on mess that it don't come off the first time, put it back on the fire, let it get hot, let your water get hot again, and that steam will get that second course. It'll be off there quick and easy. See me? Clean that old piece of iron there with the steam. That is the best method ever. Remember, hot water for hot iron. Now, we fried us some rooster bullets or some cackleberries in this old thing this morning. We've been sitting in there eating. They sort of stuck on a little. So we're going to add the salt to it, folks. And you can see them eggs really just sort of stuck on one side. So we're going to make sure it's got a good coating. And it's just going to take just... A smidgen of water that's Oklahoma for about that much okay now you can see that ain't much we'll take soft side of our sponge and we'll just let that abrasive there work just a little but we ain't really scratching that cast iron all that much it's going to dissolve some of that salt that's why it ain't hurting your iron rinse her out a good there we go be sure that you Put a little water with your coarse salt because we're not wanting to scratch the finish of that iron. We're just wanting that to loosen that debris that's on there, them stuck on eggs or something like that. So we rinsed it out. We took a rag. We dried out the excess moisture. Now we've got to figure out again which one of these turns on the burner. We're going to bring it back till it's hot enough to re-season because every time you use it, you re-season. That's what's going to give you that good finish all the time. Not once a week, not twice a week. Every time you cook out of it, every time you clean it, re-season it. I prefer olive oil or flaxseed. We're going to get this hot enough to season. And by that, when you can't put your finger on it and hold it, and mine have been burnt a lot, it's hot enough to season. You can't do this cold because the pores aren't open and you'll just have an oil slick. But you can't do this too hot because you're burning the oil before it gets to be absorbed to make your season, to make your finish. Now, this is ready to go. I got a little olive oil here, and it don't take much, I promise you. We're gonna go about that much right there. Now, I'm gonna use this deal because I don't wanna burn my fingers. Bottom, sides, everywhere really good. Make sure you don't leave any excess oil in there. We just wanna give that a good coating. You can see that shine. Hey, it's ready to go next time. Hey, done job, slicker than a finish, but make sure you always check this. 
it don't never hurt to give it just a little coat there, just what's left on the rag. Now, the most healthiest thing you can eat out of in your entire life, piece of iron. You absorb iron by eating from iron. Like Shan said one time, ain't nobody going to fight in the wheel for I want the Teflon. They'll fight over the cast iron. Take care of it. It'll be something that you can pass on for generations to come. God bless you each and every one. We don't take this for granted. We do appreciate you watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel.